What is going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today. I bring you guys five Photoshop cheat codes that I think will help you guys out uh, in Photoshop and make your life easier. That's the whole play here today. So recently I've been of course streaming every single day for the past 30 days and wherever. That's a little self plug. However, the whole play was I basically been learning a lot of the things that you guys don't actually know. Shortcut wise, we'll call them cheat codes as well because I think some of these aren't actually your usual control alt Z's or control T's or whatever like that. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are going to learn two, at least two things and use them today uh, when you guys open to Photoshop of course and use them and just love them enjoy them but yeah that's the whole play here today so if you guys are new to Photoshop this video is gold and if you guys are you know old school to Photoshop you let me know if I taught you anything um, but also let me also know in the comments section below some shortcuts that you might know of that you know would you know have a share session right that's what we're going for love you guys and uh, enjoy the video all right guys first shortcut is for people who you race a lot most times when erasing it could be super tedious if you do not know that clicking at a certain point then holding shift on your keyboard, then clicking at another point, tells Photoshop to erase everything in between. This comes in handy especially when looking to erase objects in a straight line, or just making erasing 10 times faster. You can even hold shift the entire time when erasing and continue to erase faster and more precise. And again, that's just by clicking, holding shift, and then clicking another point. Now, here's one for the shape lovers. Let's start off with making a shape that's either using the rectangle marquee tool, or the shape tool, does not matter whatsoever. I'm gonna even give mine a little bit of a slant going on here. Then I'm going to create a duplicate of this shape by Control or Command J on your keyboard. Now, with your copy, press Control T to bring up the free transform. Now, in this free transform window, you want to hold Shift, which makes it so that you can actually drag and it stays in the same exact axis, for those who don't know, and simply move it either left, right, up and down, or whatever. For me, I'm going to move it to my right. Now, Photoshop saves your previous transform data, so if you press Control, Alt, Shift, and T, you can create multiple duplicates of your shape super easy and quick. It works for pretty much any free transform needs, but comes in handy with people who work with shapes quite a lot. Now, I don't know how many of you guys use the shortcut Control Q, but this basically makes you exit out of Photoshop. And uh, like for me, there's like not a really like never. So what I've read people starting to do is if you actually go under edit, then keyboard shortcuts, then under the option layer, scroll down till you find the option smart objects. Here is where you want to click on the empty space and put in Control Q. Press OK and exit. Now, something I use very religiously is the Smart Object Options when you guys are right-clicking on your layer, making it so that whatever the object size is, if you were to make it smaller, you can make it bigger at that same exact size and it won't mess around with things, even helping out to also get rid of layer style so you can put more on top of each other. However, now all you guys have to do is press Control Q on your keyboard and uh, you got a Smart Object ready to go. If you ask me, that's, that's like a bit of a game changer, I don't know. Alright, so for the next one, let's make sure you guys go to View, Show, and have your Smart Guidelines enabled. Smart guys basically help with taking previously touched layers and showing a purple line when things match up. So, if you guys aren't a grid person but love to free handle nice layouts, these lines are pretty much your best friend. And so is the idea of knowing alt and drag to duplicate, and alt plus shift and dragging like I mentioned before to keep layers in the same axis when dragging. So combinations of using the move tool when holding control while your auto select box is ticked off, and your compound layer option is on layer and not group. Now, when holding control, you guys either click highlight or simply hold control and select the layer itself. Using alt and shift to drag to make duplicates, it simply makes the layout processing so much quicker and easier in my opinion. And for me, it's probably my most top used combination of shortcuts to make my life a little bit easier in Photoshop. Okay, so last up for our shortcuts is a simple and super quick one. F. F is most definitely in my daily rotation to spam when looking to see my project and screen with no UI distractions in combination with using control and zero to quickly make the image size the largest and centered. Super, 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 super simple, but also incredibly useful to see your artwork in a different way. All right, guys, that's the end of the video here today. So with that being said, I mean, hopefully we can have at least two different things in the video that I taught you, possibly, maybe, do not lie to me. Um, but I still wanna know what things you guys use, of course, shortcuts wise in Photoshop that might, maybe I don't know, maybe we can kind of have that moment together. But with that being said, I love you guys. So HQ out, do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking productive guys. Later, much love and enjoy your day. Also, I'll put over here in the top right, a little playlist of other shortcuts, things like that. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, peace. I was like, <laughs> later.